That's what I that's what I do most of my nights. Honestly, you just eat pizza and watch Twitch. I'm living it up. That's the good life, dude. Not everyone can say they can do that kind of stuff, dude. A lot of people don't even know what Twitch is. F in the chat. Alright, oh, that's cringy. But actually though, kind of kind of half serious. F in the chat people don't watch Twitch. Any UK boys in chat? Not me. But I wish I had a British accent, it'd be so sick. Oh, happy news from Ireland! I have red hair! I'm half Irish. My red hair's from my Italian side, so actually completely unrelated, but happy happy uh happy New Year's man from from my fellow people. Uh, okay, so I think Crapo might be rejoining us from here. Alright, so here we have Mage King versus Jerry. Alright, but I want to speak about this. Uh, I've never seen Mage King play in my life. We all know, or most of us know if you watch, Jerry's one of the one of the best players here. Oh, sorry, I'm uh, I got second at the Arcadian, so he's really, really good. But Mage King came out, uh, I didn't actually see him play, but on the bracket on last Friday, he actually went in. He got, uh, I think he went five or six and two. So like really, or maybe four. I don't know, he got a really good record, made a lot of upsets. So I'd like to think that uh, Mage King has it going on. We all know that Robin got some slight buffs, which weren't too crazy, but they make a big difference. Like if any character gets a Nair, like, faster that's a big deal even if it's just one small change like having a faster nair it just you just instantly makes your character like work. so uh robin's definitely not something to be uh underestimating the character was already decent probably one of the kind of the strongest character to get a buff on like he was already decent it wasn't like he was a low team. don't worry you're not you're not lonely if you're with us i'm commenting by myself you all have each other there's 258 of you in unison hanging out, playing New Year's together, and it's just me sitting here, just me with the ball behind me. And these two smashing on screen. So, uh, very close. So, Jerry's definitely the favorite to win here, but this is extremely close. Uh, Jerry, as we know, or I think as we know, I guess I won't assume people know that, but um, Jerry's actually one of the best players, or at one point I believe he was the best player in Maryland, uh, uh, in Melee. So, a character like. A character like Robin is probably something he's not really encountered too much. Uh, he might be caught off guard by a few of Robin's tricks. I feel like right now he understands the general uh, flow of Robin. Like he really wants to uh, keep the pressure up. Because Jerry's versatile. He can play defensive in time too. Like, he knows uh, what's strong in the match, what's not. I think very quickly he's realizing if you pressure Robin, like Robin has to charge her attacks or, or the, the different like spells and stuff he has in the sword. So if he keeps in her face, then she'll generally be a weaker character than normal. So it's really on Mage King here to keep him away so that he's able to uh, get the strong version of spells because at the end of the day, I mean, if you can't charge the spells, you're playing just a weaker version of Robin. And Arsene, uh, that was so good, but I hope it's not too little too late um, because he's down to one stock left. If Jerry's already doing this good the first set, it's going to be uh, really rough for Mage King. Like, Mage King's going to have to adapt pretty hard. Because I feel like the one vice that Mage King has right here is that Jerry may not know everything about Robin. I feel like most people who don't play Robin don't know. Oh, Mage King's at 45 degrees. Okay, so we see here that um, he's definitely in his gamer stance. People are the most dangerous in the stance. So we're seeing Mage King in his corner. Oh, man. But Jerry... Jerry, I don't know. Jerry doesn't really. I don't know if he has a gamer stance. I don't know if he does the gamer stance. He's just always really composed looking. So this might be him in his fiercest. He always looks like that. You see him in his face. He's just chilling. But that's what. But he. But he wins when he's chilling. He's always chilling. He's always dangerous. So even I don't know if even Mage King in his gamer stance can, can take on chilling Jerry. Uh, it's pretty, pretty powerful. Powerful form of both these players. That SD was very unfortunate. I do want to see what Mage King do, knowing he did so well um, last tournament. Uh, definitely, definitely can adapt. I mean, I feel like Robin is a pretty, uh, a pretty like I guess not. I'm saying gimmicky. It's like a, a lot of tricks up Robin's sleeves. Like as you see here, he's throwing out a lot of thunders earlier because he know. I'm assuming he knows that Jerry's trying to rush in and like be in his face. So he's like, all right, well if I can't charge my spells, I'll have to knock you away the spells and then I'll charge them. Or even knock him away and get a follow up and then start charging spells. Because I don't believe the charge spells. But um, I do, I do feel like uh, it would have been solid if Mage King adapted last game, like during the game, instead of having to take a whole set down. Because I think last game was actually pretty doable. Yeah, sometimes a big size. Yeah. So uh, we have Mage King here, who apparently when I checked the brackets, I, I'm a nerd. I want to see like who did what. It's fun. 
Uh, Nathan did really good last year. Yeah, he did pretty deal. decent. Um, it was, uh, was it last day do or just Friday? It was, it was like the last one, like Friday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Brian, Friday. Brian. yeah I, I saw him in bracket. He's actually, uh, I can't tell one of his He's playing pretty well. Uh, last game was close, but I feel like uh, Jerry was just really, really in Robin's face. I, I think very quickly, I don't know what experience he has with Robin. He assumed that, or he, he made his strategy to be in Robin's face constantly, so she couldn't charge. Uh, or he couldn't charge. But now, Mage King seeing that and shooting a lot more uh, preemptive. Thunderbolts and arc fires to like keep ah, them at bay. Yeah. That was a nice throw on to catch the ledge jump. That was a smart play from uh, Mage King. And, and the thing about Jerry is that he's got the um, I, like I, I from him as a player, just from his experience playing melee and fighting games alike, he's definitely solid all around in terms of how he approaches his opponent. So he's not going to yeah. be jumping in too much, which is what arc. Like, which is what Robin's going to love the most because 11 sword four day is insane. And if they get these charges up, they get a huge string. So we all know I, uh, arc fire, arc fire into like four air. That does like that can kill and it does like 50 damage. Yeah. But if you never learn get that, what's she doing? What's she doing? Nothing. Actually, she should do something. Like that one bullet. Game. That one bullet. Making a statement. Yeah, Jerry seems to have regained the lead pretty convincingly, and on top of that, the fact that it's been a more time in the game is only look at I me. Mean, look at his meter. Yeah. The fact that he's already almost got Arsene and he's barely even taken that much damage on this stock that says a lot about how, like, it's just a slow, a slow death. It's basically yeah. we're seeing Mage King go through. So Mage King likes the corner. I feel like most Robins like in the corner because it's like far away from their opponent and can charge. But the thing is, Robin doesn't have very good out of shield. Rob doesn't have very good out of shield options. So I think Jerry's picking his spots really wisely. He's like, okay, I'm gonna weave, I'm gonna weave, you know, so she can't hit me. The yeah. second she shields, he knows he can like just run up. Because there's nothing she can do out of shield. Like out of shield is not uh, her, her specialty. Yeah. So if he can just keep approaching and like maneuvering around these projectiles like that, and the second he shields, just grab. Because he knows his only way he's gonna lose is getting hit by the projectiles. And then right when she gets scared, she's trapped, then you can just capitalize. And it just seems like a, kind of almost a flow star at this point. Because he doesn't really have to change anything. It's been working since game one. This like uh, just weave around. We his strategy is just to weave and then get in her face, and then right when she gets scared, he attacks. Yeah, that's definitely what we're seeing. Uh, Mage King get it, how we're seeing Mage King get exploited. He's kind of not he, the the standard Robin style is something that is you have to think out of, outside the box a little bit against a player who's as skilled as Jerry's a 3C tonight. Yeah, he becomes pretty one-dimensional. Um, there are different way spells you can use by mixing up like, uh, what do you use, like, you know, using thunder or using hard fire or jumping first. But at the end of the day, if you're cornering yourself that much, it really just comes down to weave around projectile, trap them in corner, and then like limit their options. Yeah. Something I just saw from Mage King is that he's he used the Arc Fire, Arc Thunder. Oh wow, that was crazy. Good stuff getting the follow-up. This could possibly be a comeback, but it's gonna be a long shot. When I saw him use Arc Thunder in center stage with and, and that's if it hits, that's cool, but they have it's a slow projectile at that range. Oh my god, the Nosferatu is gonna do a lot of damage, and since he has so much uh it's such a percent differential, he's gonna get a good amount of uh, percentage back as well. Oh no. Honestly, ah, almost he was like a few percent off. That was the first time I've really seen that, that was the first time I've really... Without the platform? I've really seen Mage King, like, be aggressive. Like, try and corner Jerry's in, uh, in, in turn instead. But it might be too little too late. Yeah, that air dodge is gonna... Directional air dodge, I'm not sure if it was intentional. I might have to try to do a neutral air dodge and got in a directional air dodge accident. The rainstorm, unfortunately, wow. keeps him from being able to use the L-Win. He's gonna run out of Tome, and that's gonna be it. Honestly, though, 